Hello everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Friday afternoon. I hope I catch you in a good spirit and I have a fun topic to talk about today. And as always, inspired by the latest events that's been going on. But uh, actually this one was coming a long way and we always talk about the situations where American men get into trouble by not understanding um, Ukrainian women. But you also need to be aware about what sometimes uh, Ukrainian women are going through when uh, they uh, date abroad. And very often they can project on you their frustrations they had um, with men uh, dating online, meeting them, and uh, why sometimes they ha do not have trust. Um, so we're going to talk about the types of uh, uh, Western men dating internationally uh, and more like um, more specific American men dating Ukrainian women. And we're going to look from the other side and see why sometimes you might uh, meet um, some that ladies do not trust you and and doubt you and want to make sure that you are serious so the, there are some reasons for it not to mention there is a very popular scam going on where uh, men put pictures of american um, military guys and they are actually running the scam from nigeria and uh, they get into trust with ladies and then ask them for money so i felt like that's going to be another video but i felt like we got to address some things so today is exciting topic uh and it is um the topic itself is the first type of american men who dating online or you know i'm talking about mostly international dating and of course we talk a lot about uh, ukraine so who is what is this the first type i also defined i would say roughly three or four types of different guys that are online and hey everybody i don't see your comments but i know somebody's in the room it's an unexpected life as it often happens uh so let's get it let's get started so the the type is the writer <laughs> i call it the writer the writer the dreamer the the very often not always but often the guy on the couch so the writer is basically a guy who satisfied his needs of connecting with somebody via writing usually it's writing long letters imagining himself as if he's in a relationship and um thinking that he's a low risk because he, the only thing he does he writes in letters so he can't really it can't hurt him it can't uh get him in any kind of trouble which is often not true because often you ended up um helping people you will never meet because you are you are that type that's into writing and talking but not into taking action so i'm smiling because it does make me smile uh the regular pattern is this this man will write and write and write till he bored to death the person and you know women do not commit I mean, real women do not commit uh, via emails. They do not commit even via Skype calls. You got to be there, you know, a real physical presence. And usually the writer doesn't even allow himself to really see what he could do, how he could travel. Maybe he need to stop spending money on junk. And by the end of the year, he can have extra $5,000 to travel or something like that. But the, the writer type is, he's often, his life is so full of stuff. It's full of unresolved issues. It's full of different clutter in the house. Um, it's full of uh, some weird relationships. And 
things that he've never kind of figured out. So if even if he would have a material possibility to travel, he would probably back off because he's not into showing his real face. Uh, he could be a lot of times, uh, not always, but a lot of times could be overweight, out of shape, you know, not not a motivated man, not the man that goes out there and attracts people naturally. So he kind of, that's a one pleasure that he has in his life is when he comes back from home. Uh, it's kind of, he's in the club. He feels as if he's socializing in a club and he writing long letters. Uh, less often he would go on a Skype or any kind of video because, you know, video still, you can't see everything, but video kind of shows you the, the more of a 3D, uh, per 3D picture and a little bit more of personality, a little bit more of an idea of a person. And I believe, yes, we can s sometimes feel as if we are falling in love in a video. It's not, well, we definitely can, uh, develop a lot of interest when we hear how the person talk, how they, you know, what their mimics are and, and all of that. But this kind of guy, he's trying to actually avoid video because, um, as I said, often he's out of shape and he's just not ready and he doesn't want to get too involved because he has no plans of traveling. Basically, uh, he used this as a therapy session. You know, it's kind of give you this illusion that somebody somewhere out there is thinking about him and have him like on a, that he's in, in, in a kind of like a relationship, but it's kind of like, kind of like that the best way, to, the best way to put it. Uh, so, um, he is like he's uh, he loves the illusion because if he would if he would have to get out of illusion he has to completely rebuild his life inside out uh, physically materially emotionally he would have to do so much work and here you don't need to do any work you can just like learn to story in his best days you know you can take a nice I, I wish I would have a pen with a nice big feather right now I actually do have one so so he would write letters and and long and so on and so forth but so what happens with a pattern uh, after a while the lady gets real bored and really disappointed that he can never come there is no plans and so if she is a serious lady and not a scammer he usually say bye because three four five six months goes by there is no action and she realized she's spending her time. If he is a good writer and he has good pictures, that could be from his early life, from when he was like in college. You know, these guys tend to put really nice pictures from when they actually were in some kind of shape and kind of lo looked okay. And this is really nice letters. But the only scam in here, guys, is the emotional idea that, oh, you know, somebody cares about me. So instead of uh, getting on video, making plans, seeing if you can connect with the other person, because yes, in the video you can kind of feel the person's energy. And when you meet in person, it's of course totally, totally awesome because you can feel it, you can, you know, you, you can just really enjoy the, the closeness. So, but this guy is, is very far away from that. And so he's ready to be changing his uh he already knows that in about two or three months this lady will stop writing him so he already knows the patterns that ladies will drop out as he goes because they don't have a patience and they don't have a you know a real uh live passionate woman isn't gonna sit and wait there for you you gotta understand this even if you're not a type one writer and not doing not action taker uh if you writing to a real woman that's you know made from you know as real blood in, in her veins and uh she's the woman on fire you know she's active i mean i guess it it, it could have some fluctuation there but overall 
she is not sitting there guys and waiting for you to write you another letter and 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 see the years go by <laughs> she's writing you letters she wants to action she wants to know that there is a plan and and um dates what are the dates you know and with this kind of guy he probably would um he would freak out even if he would have the money and means to go in some ways he would freak out because he was uh, uh, the writer type is very much afraid of life and when he writes he creates this imaginary person that he wish he would be and he gets so much joy he re rewrites his past he decorates his future he comes up with all kind of things so he feels really because they say that our conscious or subconscious uh, mind i guess can see the difference between the lie you know the, the fantasy and the truth so he on the top of the joy when he is somebody else when he is uh, you know that uh, version of himself that he wish he would be so you can see that there is no point of, of going somewhere when you can live in illusion and you you know in illusion in illusion relationship so you know that's really a case for i would say this guy is really saving on the therapy and i think going to a great therapist can change your life therapist life coach i don't know advisor consultant somebody that you connect with and i think instead of sitting there uh and writing letters to just god knows where and when um Adrian, <laughs> I'm gonna read you later. You, you message in a minute, but instead of that, uh, if you are that writer type, and it's not just that you love writing, there is nothing wrong with writing beautiful letters, but you take no action, and you know your life is in a mess, and it could be beneficial to. If you actually want to change your life, you know, you might be the guys that just want to live like this and die like that. That's a different story. But if you have a bit of action man somewhere in it, you have a bit of man with a plan somewhere in you, you wanted to consider going to, you know, some people go to therapist. I personally prefer the life coaches because when there is trouble, nothing like action heals it. You know, you can sit and talk forever about your past, about this and that. But one of the awesome things to do is like, okay, that's what I got. What can I do now? But it's once again, it's when you're not 100% the writer, the dreamer type, but you actually have some um, action still somewhere in you. That's a way to do it. You know, you can find somebody in your area. You can find somebody online. You can find some free inspirational stuff, but you got to do something in your life. You don't want to die with a bunch of letters in your hands you know <laughs> oh my gosh i'm in really in a good mood today guys so adrian is saying i'm a successful software engineer <clears throat> but i'm also an introvert and camera shy i guess that's why some ladies confuse me for a writer type yeah adrian come on how old are you adrian you are at the very least in your i i would say you probably are somewhere in your stories that's correct well, think about that. Uh, introverts make great conversations. Introverts, like as a woman, I really uh, have appreciation for introverted men because these men uh, have depths to them. They are smart. And that's, you know, unless you're pushing yourself out of that hiding thing, nothing going to change. And I want to tell you that um, it, is, it, it is hard at first to put your face on a camera. Um, and when you feel that you're actually doing those things that's hard and uncomfortable, that's when you really get in your, your, you know, your juices flowing. Because at first it's uncomfortable and then you feel like, great, you know, I, I'm doing something. It's like it's a good kind of pain. And I totally understand you. I don't also like to be on the camera, believe it or not. Um, and I know many successful uh, YouTube people that are very successful, very high level, and they're afraid of, they don't like cameras. 
you just kind of do it. <laughs> okay, you're 40 years old. Okay, great. Well, so what are you waiting for? <laughs> uh, and where do you live? You are in in US, correct? But I, I remember that you were from somewhere else, but I'm, I just don't, don't I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, when you're talking, the, then another thing with the writer, uh, after a while, the lady friends on you. If you are a writer type, if you're the passive type, if you're not, if you're even dating locally and you're not inviting a lady for a date, uh, she friend zones you. If you tell her everything over the letters, why would she meet with you? She already knows everything about you. You're a nice guy. Uh, letters and phone calls and texts are only, if, especially if you're dating locally, uh, they are only for scheduled dates. Yes, I know. Sometimes, you know, we like somebody and we want to talk with them on the phone. And when it is a uh, long distance, I get it. Uh, when it is long, long distance, you do enjoy that phone call. But if you can, get your face on the camera and get your face on the camera. Because it's a good pre, uh, like a pre-date thing. Because, you know, you can, la you can laugh, you can smile. If you've been on the camera and you talk with a person, you, you still might... It still might not be the one, but you already know your your body language and your um, the way of communication. The picture the picture itself is a three um, is a two dimensional thing. It's flat. It doesn't show you anything. And most disappoints disappointments happen in in a dating when people only exchange pictures. And sometimes you realize, okay, those pictures are were photoshopped or they were taken a long time ago. And the person looked nothing like those pictures and you fantasize the image. But when you get somebody on the camera, even if they have some flaws and, you know, they're not that perfect. But you, when you're connecting with them, uh, with uh, some jokes or, you know, you're connecting with them, you don't care about and you already know what you're going to see. So you don't... It, it doesn't bother you. You might find more flaws or, you know, the appearance is important only to certain degrees because we click with our energies, you know, and then the way I look at you is different than the, when, uh, the way the woman that's meant to be for you looks at you. You know, the, the beauty and attraction is very subjected, subjective, and it's somewhere in our DNA. So cutting yourself from a chance where you can see somebody's eyes and make jokes and and uh you know talk online via the, the video make some special time you really not using the benefit of the modern of the modern time where you can pre-select people you know the worst thing happens when you meet the person you've already skyped or talk on the phone or you know had some kind of interaction the worst thing that will happen you will have a great time. You might not meet before for the wrong, I mean, later. You might not meet again later if, you know, you've decided that's not somebody you want to be with. But you're going to have a great time. Do you guys agree? That when you know your energy aligns, you, 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 you are into similar stuff. You're going to go for a great date. You are in for a treat. Uh, and you, you're gonna get in the in the mode, you know, you know, like you can shake off the dust, like if you hadn't been out for a while. Um, and another thing is, when you actually talk with a person by their language, the way they express themselves, you can tell a lot. You can tell if they are really what they are saying. Um, well, for example, um, you can hear how well they speak English or how well they speak in general, whatever language you are talking to them. Uh, do they always use autocorrect and they have like terrible language skills or they curse? <laughs> I mean, things like that. And you can feel, you know, when you hear the voice, uh, see the face, of course, but when you hear the voice and the way a person express themselves, that's huge. Uh, we do not talk enough about the importance of liking the audio of somebody's voice. You know, when you like somebody's voice, you can j you just hear that voice and 
you know you you can't wait to meet you you already you know your hormones of connection and you know you, your happy hormones and your attraction grows when you actually um like uh, that person voice so guys that's all i'm gonna say today adrian thank you so much for stopping to my unexpected live video i'm gonna try to announce them i i received letters that oh my gosh i'm missing all your live videos but i did not have um i could not commit to certain schedule because i'm very busy so i'm about to hop in the car it's a beautiful day here finally in in uh, you know michigan so i'm gonna take advantage of that and i wish you a wonderful weekend and i will see you guys next time and we're gonna talk about other types how about that